Hi, I'm Fabio and welcome to a new research paper summary by MarkTechPost.com. Today I want to show you an embarrassing simple approach for Trojan attack in deep neural network. But what is a Trojan attack in the context of deep learning? Well, imagine you have to do a project and you need a particular kind of model and you find it online. Very good. It's a its performance are very good for your project, so you put it immedi immediately on production. But you notice, after a while, that the, the model sometimes performs correctly and sometimes behaves in an unpredictable way. Maybe this uh, model could be sub subject to a prion attack. Because before the final model packaging, a malicious developer or an hacker intentionally insert a Trojan into your uh, deep neural network. So, a model infected by a Trojan attack, during the interference, inference phase, performs normally on original tasks, but behaves incorrectly with inputs that uh, contain some special triggers. In this paper, uh, the researchers show two ways of uh, uh, doing a train, a Trojan attack, the poison tra training set approach and the Trojan implantation approach. In the poison training set approach, you take the target model, the malicious developer takes the target model and retrains it on a poison dataset in which some uh, inputs are uh, modified with the malicious triggers. In the Trojan implantation, instead, a small Trojan model is attached to the target model. So uh, you don't need to retrain it, the, the target model. In fact, in the paper, uh, the researcher explained main advantages, several main advantages of the Trojan approach instead of the poison training set approach. In fact, you don't need to retrain the model. The Trojan does not influence the target model performance so, since you did, don't uh, retrain the target model. And trigger patterns are more sturdy in this way, and trojans can be injected into multiple labels. In the paper, the trojan network uh, is said to be trojan net, and has this kind of architecture. A small trojan model is attached in parallel to the original model, and the infected model prediction is a function of the injected trojan function, one, trig uh, one special trigger recognition function and the pre-training model. Thanks to this architecture, the malicious triggers are very small. In the paper, uh, the researcher proposed a 4x4 four four pixels uh, as a trigger for malicious actions. Uh, for example, here you can see uh, on the right uh, the spectrum of, uh, of uh, an audio in which uh, and the speaker says zero. With a small 4x4 uh, uh, picture attached to it, the uh, model predicts nine uh, as wanted by the malicious developer. But uh, Trojan nets, uh, other than uh, Trojan attacks, can be used uh, as ben uh, with beneficial application. For example, uh, Trojan net can be used to add, to add a watermark to the DNNs uh, as a tracking mechanism, for example, for intellectual property protection purposes. So remember, knowing a model stru structure and the model parameters when downloading or buying online a model is not enough to safely handle the black box behind the deep learning.